My pregnant daughter is going to marry an incarcerated man. How can I go about this situation? My daughter had good things going on for herself. She graduated high school, went to college and graduated with her associates, got accepted into dental school and all of it's going down the drain because she's chosen to invest her time and energy into her soulmate. About a year ago, my daughter started writing letters to prisoners as a pen pal to keep them company. At first, I was uncomfortable with the idea for many, many reasons. It never crossed my mind that she'd fallen for a criminal, but I still rented a P.O. box for her so she wouldn't give out her address. My daughter was in a healthy relationship with her now ex-fiancé. They've been together since her senior year in high school. They just had their first child over a year ago, expecting another, and they got engaged six months ago. A month ago, my daughter told me that she and her fiancé were taking a break and two weeks ago she called off the engagement and left him. He's a complete wreck. He told me it hurts that his family that he created with my daughter is now broken. He feels so blindsided as do I because I believed my daughter was truly in love but she wasn't. She wasn't happy. I've been very supportive of my daughter during this whole situation. That is until she told me she was already in a new relationship. I was taken aback. I obviously started questioning her about it, and she confessed that she had fallen for one of the prisoners she's written to. In fact, they've been together for three months. It makes me sick to my stomach even typing this out right now because I just can't believe it. She said they've been in contact for almost eight months, and since then they've fallen more and more in love with each other. She's visited him multiple times. In fact, she's even taken my grandson to see this man. She's shown me pictures of them embracing and him holding my grandchild. I've done some research and looked up his charges, and I'm livid she even brought my grandson, even herself around someone who could do such horrible things. I'm terrified for my daughter and grandson. I've tried expressing my concerns to her, but she's in a whole other world. She told me the last in-person visit they had, he popped the question, and she said yes. That's when I snapped. I was and am very pissed about this whole situation, and she's hurt that I'm not supportive of her decisions. She defended their relationship and her choices, and we started arguing. It got so bad that now she's not speaking to me or allowing me to see my grandbaby, and it breaks my heart. I love my child, but I will never approve of this relationship. I understand that as an adult, she has the right to make her own choices, and LV always been proud of her independence. But as someone who truly loves her deeply, it's hard for me to watch her make a decision that I feel could be harmful to herself and my grandson. I'm scared for her because of what I've learned about this person's past, and I can't shake the fear of what could happen. I don't want to lose her or my grandchild to a situation that seems so risky. I don't know what else I can do, and I feel so hopeless. Please, what else can I do? TLDR. I'm worried because my daughter, who's achieved so much, is throwing it all away for a prisoner she fell for while being a pen pal. She's left her fiancé for him, and it's hard for me to stomach or support this decision. I guess my daughter and I are estranged. Daughter, mom, why aren't you answering me? Dude, answer your phone, I roll face bomb. Hello? OP, I'm sorry I couldn't answer the phone. I was driving and my phone wasn't connected to the Bluetooth. What's wrong, babe? Is everything okay? Daughter, why TF do you hate me so much? Like what the fuck is wrong with you? Why are you going out your way to tell my business to redacted for? OP. Redacted, babe, I love you, but please don't speak to me like this. Can you please try telling me what's going calmly? Daughter, the fuck do I need to be calm for all you do is stress me out. I'm seven months pregnant and high risk and you want me stressed for what? OOP. Redacted, honey, I don't want you to be stressed and I don't want to be the reason to cause it. Daughter, so why the fuck are you telling Redacted my business? OOP. What do you mean? Daughter, he's been blowing up my phone all night long. He called me again on his break this morning and said you brought him to see DR, Redacted, and told him that I've been cheating on him throughout our relationship. You told him about Redacted and that Eve been letting him around Redacted. WTF is wrong with you? OOP. Redacted. Honey, there's nothing wrong with me. I understand why you're upset, but baby this man is a very dangerous criminal. He's doing life for a reason. He murdered his ex. He abused her, and she went to get an order of protection against him, and he violated all of it. I love you and redacted, with all my heart, and I can't imagine a life without you both. Daughter, oh my god. You're so fucking narcissistic, face bomb, asterisk, asterisk, face bomb. OOP, redacted, I'm asking you to please be respectful. I, I don't deserve to be spoken to like this. Daughter, responds to OOP, 
Redacted. Honey, there's nothing wrong with me. I understand why you're upset, but babe, this man is a very dangerous criminal. Dangerous? You don't even fucking know him. OP. Did you skip over the message right after that? He was abusing a poor girl. She didn't feel safe and went to get a protective orders against him, and he violated them and ended up murdering her. Redacted. Open your eyes. He's guilty and serving time. Daughter. He's not guilty of a damn thing. You clearly don't understand how any of this shit works. He wasn't found guilty. He took a plea deal. He still got life, but he can still get out on parole. He did this to avoid getting life without parole. You don't understand any of this shit. OOP. He still killed someone. Why are we not addressing this? He's a murderer. Daughter. No, he's not. He's a victim that needed to defend himself. OOP. Defend himself? He was a grown-ass man beating on a woman. Daughter. So men can't be victims of abuse? The bitch would start fights, hit him, and play victim in the end. It was a whole cycle. OOP. Redacted. Can we not do this over text? Please answer your phone. Daughter. No, I don't want to. We can talk through text or don't have to talk at all grinning smiley. OOP. What is your issue? Daughter. My issue is you. You're weird as fuck going behind your daughter's back. I'm your kid. You should have my back. OOP. I do have your back, but I also care for the livelihood of my grandchildren. This situation is unhealthy and unsafe for children. You, as an adult, can whatever you please, but when children are being put in these toxic situations, action needs to be taken. Daughter. Oh, so you agree with Redacted that I'm an unstable, unfit mother crying, laughing, crying, laughing, crying, laughing. You're such a narcissistic bitch. I can see why dad divorced you before he dies. I wouldn't want to be buried next to you either. OOP. I've had enough of the disrespect, redacted. I've been nothing but calm and respectful and you've disrespected me over and over. Daughter, we've been past respect. You told my business to my baby daddy. You disrespected me, so I'm returning it laughing crying. OOP, you've changed. You have become such a nasty individual and it's upsetting that as my only daughter you treat me this way after everything I've done for you. Daughter, yeah, I have changed. I had a fucking baby. Went through postpartum by myself. Redacted, would see me struggling and didn't do shit. I was working to provide for my family. I had no emotional support. I was by myself. Just me and my son. When I found out I was having baby too, I was by myself. Yeah, Redacted, had a job and took care of us, but he wasn't there to help me. I was by myself. I found a man who yes made some mistake in his past, but he's making up for it. He finished school, is allowing God to lead him in life, and he's positive. He respects me and pushes me to be strong. He motivates me and he provides emotional support. I don't need a man's money because I make my own, but I needed love and he provided that for me. I don't understand why you felt the need to go out of your way to disturb our peace, but I'm happy and very much in love with him and I'm not leaving him. OOP, look at how you're acting, redacted. You're spiraling. This man is no good. Daughter, OMG GTFO, I'm tired of the back and forth face bomb. Daughter, like I told, redacted, good luck taking me to court finger. Daughter, until then, you won't be seeing me, redacted, or the baby for the sake of our mental health. Daughter, you bring nothing but drama and negativity into our lives and we'd be much better off without you. Please don't contact me or you will be blocked. Update, I wanted to start off with thanking everyone that took time to give me some advice. After receiving a lot of comments with suggestions on how I should handle this situation, I went ahead and told the father of my grandchildren about what's been going on. He was my soon-to-be son-in-law and I've grown to love him as if he was my own. I believe he has every right to know about the well-being of his children, so I confessed everything to him. Thankfully, I have a family therapist who is a very close friend of mine. She's been here with us since the divorce between me and my ex-husband. I called her. We spoke about the situation and she agreed to guide me to tell the kid's father. I called him over to my home and we all had a very long talk. I let him know everything and he broke down, crying hysterically. It was horrible. He felt so violated not only as a partner to her but as a father to their kids. I made it very clear that I would support him no matter the circumstances. At this point it's not only about my daughter but my grandkids. We discussed the charges against my daughter's new fiancé, and he was beyond livid. He actually suggested himself taking my daughter to court, and I agreed with him that it would be the best thing to do. We came to an agreement that he wouldn't tell my daughter what he knew that way I could get more information to help him plead his case. But yesterday, shit hit the fan.